Nvidia released their GeForce GTX 1070 and GTX 1080 about a month ago, featuring the company's new Pascal architecture, a brand new 16 nanometer production process. And they also released the GDDR5X standard of memory, but only for their flagship, the GTX 1080. The GTX 1070 managed to impress with its high end performance as an attractive sweet spot, making it the best price per performance of its class. This year, Nvidia renamed their reference design as Founders Edition and they are charging about $70 more or 70 euros depending on where you live for this specific edition. The GeForce GTX 1070 uses the same Pascal GP104 graphics processor as the GTX 1080 which is just 1920 enabled shaders instead of 2560 which also affect the number of texture un units that are down to 120 from 160. They both have 64 ROPs, so there's no difference there. The memory capacity of both products is 8 gigabytes, which is a significant bump compared to their predecessors, the GTX 970 and the GTX 980, which only had 4 gigabytes. And in the case of the 970, where there was the big scandal with three and a half gigabytes of VRAM, it's certainly a big jump for this generation of GPUs. Unlike the GTX 1080 that comes with the GDDR5X memory, which offers twice the bandwidth at the same operating frequency, NVIDIA made the GTX 1070 run at a frequency of 2 GHz in order to make up for that, claiming the title of the fastest GDDR5 memory on the GTX 1070. In this review, we are going to take a closer look at the MSI GeForce GTX 1070 Gaming X, which uses the company's new Twin Frozer 6 cooling solution, which is mated with a custom-designed PCB by the company. The two enable a significant factory overclock for more performance and hopefully less noise than the GTX 1070 Founders Edition. With a retail price of 460 euros, it is 10 euros more expensive than the Founders Edition, but that's the official pricing you will definitely see them in stores for a lot more than that. For this video, we will cover both gaming performance at the three most popular resolutions right now, which are 1080p, 1440p and 2160p or 4K and slash UHD, whatever you want to call it. But we will also take a look at its rendering performance. So we'll see how much of an improvement does the GTX 1070 offer to a to an overclocked i7 6700k with a 10% overclock so from 4 gigahertz stock to a 4.4 gigahertz so it's a pretty decent overclock that a lot of you can achieve with your i7s i've recorded my screen at 1080p even though i'm playing the game at 4k just so it will be more consistent for the edit and also faster and so the FPS counter on the top will be very small but I'm sure you will be able to see it. I'll leave you now with some gameplay and also in the case of GTA 5 which has a built-in benchmark I've recorded the, the screen with my camera just because I wanted to see the full potential of the graphics card because at 4K even with shadow play it is a significant drop in performance of about 10%. In 1080p it's about 2 or 3% but at 4k it's pretty large so I'll keep it at that.
In this part of the video we will see how much of a boost does a GTX 1070 deliver to, a, to an overclock i7 6700K overclock 10% so from 4GHz to 4.4GHz and the difference I'll tell you right now it is huge. The Twin Frozer 6 from MSI on the GTX 1070 Gaming X has a, an RGB LED with the MSI logo on it and it also has some red LED accents and as you can see I've combined it with my RGB LED strips making the case alive. You can configure the LEDs from the MSI gaming app where you have some OC profiles pre-applied but I recommend using the MSI afterburner for a true overclock even though GPU boost 3.0 is extremely good. One feature that I definitely love about the Twin Frozer 6 and that is not present on the Founders Edition is the Zero Frozer as MSI calls it. So basically when you're under 60 degrees the fans stop completely making the car dead silent. I've overclocked this car with 80 megahertz on the core and 160 megahertz of the memory and so the boost lock uh, got to 1852 but because of GPU boost 3.0 it, it sometimes surpasses 2 gigahertz which is quite impressive. So overall I think this is a great time to upgrade your GPU because this time around Pretty much every card in the Pascal architecture until now, so the GTX 1080 surpassed everything. The GTX 1070 is about 5% faster than the Titan X and the GTX 980, which are pretty comparable. The GTX 1060, which just came out, equals the GTX 980, and it also has 50% more RAM, for, so from 4 gigabytes to 6 gigabytes so it is definitely a great year for upgrading your gpu and if you're looking for uh, a card that can deliver 4k performance pretty much the cheapest card that can really deliver 4k performance this is the the way to go the gtx 1070 